Hi, I'm Mike Leck, the How-To Guy, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to apply the LaBelle line of lubricants to your model operating miniatures, your toys, collectibles. I'm also going to take some time to show you how to lubricate some common household items that you may have overlooked. Remember, here at LaBelle, we have a saying, if it moves, lube it. So let's get started. My most frequently asked question is, Mike, why are there so many different kind of lubricants? Well, there's no real easy answer to that question, but I can tell you this. If you own a vehicle, your answer is right there in the engine. Let me show you why. Here is a basic quart of motor oil. I'm also going to show you a basic quart of automatic transmission fluid. Now, the packages look almost identical. The difference is inside the package. Motor oil has a thicker viscosity, and the transmission fluid has a thinner viscosity. They say, Mike, why do you use so many fancy words? Well, it's not a fancy word. Viscosity simply means the thickness of the liquid. Think of water. That's your thin viscosity. Think of honey. That's your thick viscosity. See the difference in your mind's eye? Now you know the difference between the two fluids here on the table. Let me show you. We're going to take a cup. We're going to pour some of the motor, motor oil right into the cup. You're going to see that it pours thickly but it does flow out nice. Okay, I'm going to cap that and I'm going to show you some of the automatic transmission fluid. There's my cup. Now notice, while they look almost alike, the transmission fluid is just a little bit thinner, not dramatically thinner. So how would you tell the difference? The difference is the manufacturer has taken the time to dye the automatic transmission fluid red. Those are our two viscosities. Now let's move this out of the way because you're going to ask the question, Mike, why then is LaBelle any different than any other lubricant on the market? Well, I guarantee you this. You can walk into any store. You can find yourself lubricants. And some of those lubricants are going to say good for models as well. But there is a difference. Those are petroleum-based lubricants. LaBelle is a synthetic blend. The big difference? With the petroleum-based lubricants, they will eventually dry out leaving behind a sticky residue. The problem there is you're going to attract dirt, you're going to attract lint, and it's going to gum up an otherwise perfectly operating mechanism. Now in this segment, we're going to use LaBelle lubricants to completely lubricate an HO scale steam locomotive. Now depending on the use of your locomotive, you may want to do this procedure once a year, twice a year, or as needed. Some of the sure signs of loss of performance is a noisy gearbox, jerky motion starts, and don't forget, when that light flickers on your headlight, you're not getting good conductivity. You need to clean your locomotive, you need to lube it. Now I've already disassembled our model, and I will assume that you've already cleaned it using the LaBelle cleaning system. Now in this segment we're going to use three types of LaBelle lubricants. We're going to use LaBelle number 102, number 106, and number 107. My locomotive is disassembled. I'm going to take my number 106. I'm going to take my grease and I'm going to put a small amount on top of my gear. That is my drive gear. That's important to note because when you reassemble this locomotive and run it down the track, the gear will turn and take that grease into the gearbox. This way you don't have to disassemble the gearbox, making your lubrication procedure that much easier. We're next going to move to LaBelle number 102. LaBelle number 102 is specially formulated for gear towers. I'm going to remove the scabbard. I'm going to take my lubricant. And in the same manner, I'm going to put another small amount of lubricant right on top of that worm gear. Again, I don't have to worry to get it everywhere because when the locomotive is reassembled, it's going to pull all that lubricant to all the places that it's needed. My last lubricant is going to be LaBelle number 107. Again, specially formulated, it has a thinner viscosity than 102. So we're going to put it in some moving parts that are very integral to the locomotive. Notice that the armature shaft is housed by this bearing back here. I'm going to go ahead and put my LaBelle number 107 right down in here, one drop, and one drop on the back. I'm going to go to the front of the motor housing and do the same. Now at this point, with most other lubricants, you're completely finished because you never want to get a petroleum-based lubricant near the commutator. However, 
Lebel's a little different, specially formulated for models and model miniatures. We can actually take our Lebel number 107 and apply it directly to the commutator. Remember, those brushes are adding friction to the commutator. This will loosen it up and give it a friction-free run. And because of the conductivity of number 107, you have a much better conductive commutator and motor brushes. That's basically how you do a simple steam locomotive. You're just about ready and good to go. I have an example. What we have here on the table now is a basic common padlock that you'll find around the house. This is one of those household items that are commonly overlooked. I'm going to lube it today with some Labelle 102. I'm going to remove the key from the keyhole and I'm going to simply take some lubricant and put it inside the keyhole. I'm then going to turn the lock over, put some on the hinge, and I'm going to put some down inside the locking mechanism where the shaft goes in. But here's something else that, something else that you may want to consider. Put a thin sheen of Lebel 102 right on the key. Take that same key then, place it into the lock, turn it slightly, pull it back out, and now what you have is that oil sheen now inside the tumblers of the lock. Keep that in mind. There's a number of other items around your household that will benefit from the use of Lebel. Now Lebel has been popular from its beginnings in the model train industry. However, we're going to show you some applications on model trains in this particular segment. But as you watch, keep in mind that the same applications I use for model trains can also be used for RC cars, radio controlled airplanes, your toys, and a number of household items. And always keep in mind, if it moves, lube it. I hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration on how to lubricate your miniature models. I invite you to stay on board, as following this you'll hear some information on how to order the longer version of the DVD entitled, How to Lubricate with Labelle. You'll not only learn how to lubricate smaller scale locomotives and larger scale, but you'll also learn how to lubricate RC cars, airplanes, boats, and so much more. And remember what we always say here at Labelle, if it moves, lube it.